I haven't done a, one of these in a while, have I? I really should be doing more of these, but I just keep falling out of the habit. Anyways, welcome guys to another episode of the Need for Speed Most Wanted Mod Showcase. And today we start with a big ass truck. Uh. Not that, but a Ford F650 XLT. Yeah, someone actually went to the, uh, to the process of making a mod for a Ford F650. This big ass truck. I believe this was requested by The Real Meal. If I remember correctly, I should have checked the names for each one, but I think I do recognize all three of them off the top of my head. So, you know. Uh, it, if, you may, if you're looking at the bottom of the car and wondering what's going on there, I guess it... I think it's a... Refl it's, it's a reflection error that I, I'm going to imagine only happens with the car whilst uh, in this uh, display here. But other than that, it's probably fine. Anyways, but there's not a whole lot you can do with customization. You can actually put spoilers on this, which is silly, and I'm obviously not going to do that because that just looks dumb. But if you if you are someone who tends to like that, then there that is a thing you can do with this truck. Uh, this replaces the Volkswagen Golf GTI, by the way. Now, if you're if you've been watching this series for a while, you know the deal already. If not. I take all of these car mods that I get for this game over to the Petersburg track, a, which is like a little bit of a small circuit track in the game, near the uh, near the bus station, and I basically give the cars about roughly three flying laps to get as fast of a lap time as possible. The fastest of that those times goes over onto the leaderboard. Not that I really expect anything today is going to top our current leader, which is the McLaren Mercedes MP4-29. That thing's been sitting at first place pretty much longer than anything, so, you know. Uh, but regardless, we're going to see just exactly where this truck will fit. Now, unfortunately, the modder didn't uh, go to the process of making it sound different than a, a tuned-up Golf, so it, it just sounds really strange. But, you know... At least the mod itself doesn't look personally too bad. In terms of how it performs, it honestly kind of drives not too far off of how the Golf drives, which makes me wonder if this car, when you when you bring it down, is really just, for the most part, nothing more but a, uh, a re a re skinned uh, Golf. It, I mean, it, it it could be for all I know, which means it makes it makes this big truck surprisingly good. Because, you know, it's got a decent amount of speed and it handles quite nicely. Which you wouldn't... Well, that kind of screwed that one up. Which you wouldn't expect from, you know... Uh, something this particularly large, but... You know... But, yeah. It's, it's, it is a bit particularly interesting, to say the least. This lap is already uh, a dead one in the water, so I'm just going to get myself out of that situation real quickly. But yeah, the, all the little screw-ups I've made kind of basically made this lap by knowing already that it's not going to be uh, a good enough lap. Because we, cause we can definitely do better out of the truck, so I just need to make sure not to hit be hitting any, no, nothing. But uh, hey, at least if you want to beat... Uh, Razor in the f in at the end at the end game, you know that you can do it now with a Ford F650 if you wanted to because it's it's more than capable enough of doing so. It's very silly that it that it goes this fast, but it's uh, I like it for that reason. I mean, I'm pretty sure at the end of the day it is effectively just a golf with a, a body of an F650, but you know, we'll find. I guess we'll be able to really find out for sure once I've, uh, once I have, uh, gone to the leaderboard to find out where it ranks, so. And that is a 56.20 for that lap, which is a pretty good lap, I'd say. Had a little bit of a situation there, nothing, nothing particularly too serious, though, so. Alright, well, let's just try to... Ooh, that was very nicely done to that corner. Just made sure to go in early and really get that angle, and that was just very well done. That was also very well done there, too. A lot of speed kept. Kept it over 175 in that section. Think about that. Uh, this this big-ass truck being able to 
take corners at such speeds and not and not have a fuss. Okay, that's all right. And that's what I expected. I really need to be reminding myself to get be getting rid of those, but I don't. All right, whatever. I think you do get the idea, though, that it would have been effectively around the same area, maybe into the 55s, but I think, for the most part, this tends to drive a lot like a Golf, so it's more than likely just a simple rebody of a car rather than it being uh, anything majorly special. I mean, it still has the same engine sound for crying out loud. But anyways... Hopefully that won't be the case for our next car, which is a Porsche 935 Turbo. Yep, we're, we go from a big-ass truck to a classic racing car. I believe this was requested by Muller Milch 245. And that body that you see, that, that uh, racing livery that you see on it is the stock livery. Yes, this comes with a stock livery already applied rather than just being, you know, a paint where you can just paint it whatever you want. It does have other options, though. The f the first one here is actually quite a nice, like, classic, like, Budweiser-style uh, livery. It looks really nice. I quite like it. Uh, the second one is this, like, secure it thing or whatever. It's kind of simplistic, but it's all right. And then, of course, the last body is something... Oh, whoops. Is... Oh, shoot. Sorry about that. The last livery is something that's, you know, a lot more familiar with this kind of car, a martini racing livery, which, you know, works works wonders with this car. But I'm going to go with the Budweiser one, because I quite like the way this uh, particularly, particularly, <laughs> this particular livery looks, so that shall be the one I go for. Just going to quickly go back over to here, and we'll see if the 935 Turbo can keep up at least after the good showing from the, uh, what was it from the? I'm, I'm having pauses here. From, from the likes of the F650. Now I will. Now the good thing so far are that this. This at least has a different engine sound. In fact, I don't recall if I've ever had a mod that sounds like this. It does have a very Porsche-like sounds, which is good. Even though, and even though, interestingly enough, this does not replace any Porsche in the game. It actually replaces a, the Mazda RX-7, which is which is a bit of an interesting choice. Now, these old kind of classic race cars have always been a bit of a mixed bag in terms of uh, mod-wise, because a lot of them that I've tested tend to perform terribly, actually. But it looks like that this uh, 935 may be the one that breaks the mold, because it's certainly very quick. And, and whilst handling-wise, it's, uh, it's fairly alright, certainly does grip enough to uh, keep it going quite well. This is actually going to be a... It's, it's nice to see a, a cla more classic-style racing car that actually seems to do fairly well. In fact, we've, in our first lap, where that was just a uh, a, sta a standing lap, it's already faster than the F650, so... It, Mueller does not usually get a lot of mods... does not request many mods that are, that are particularly fast. He seems to have... A ow. He seems to have a lot of bad luck with that, but it, this Porsche certainly is one of those few that he's got requested that actually has some power to it. And, ag and again, it's just nice to finally see a car mod that, at, for once, actually drives this well. I've just, there's just been so many that we've had over the while that just don't do any good. I mean, that Lancia 037 is still probably the worst example of it, because it just... Because of it having, essentially, a rally transmission, and it just doesn't work for a game like this. But here, the 935 has... A very good top end and handles fairly well, and because of that, puts it amongst some of the faster uh, car mods we've tested. Make so this is this makes this a very excellent choice, especially if you aren't particularly a fan of uh, the rotary or whatnot, and would like rather like to have a classic racing car replace it than, and you like uh, classic Porsches. And this 935 probably is a very good way to go. I mean, I like the fact that it actually has a, a bit of a more unique engine note. I don't rem I don't rem recall another car mod I've tested uh, use this engine sound. So let's see what we can get 
for this fi this lap here. A 50.67, so yeah, under 51 second lap there. That is that is excellent. What is my fan doing? I'm hearing sounds coming from my fan that are kind of concerning me because I don't know why it's making such sounds. I'm afraid it's going to explode at some point. I just thought it was some kind of weird sound effect going on at the game at first. I had a slight pause when I first heard it with the uh, when I was testing the F650, but no, that's definitely my fan, so I don't know what's going on with it. It's something's up. Oh, that was close. All right. Just had a just kind of had to take it easy there. I didn't want to end up smacking into the walls or nothing. But yeah, let's see here. Where are we going to get with this last lap? Is it going to be the best lap of the car? Nope, it's 51.13. But, yeah, but even still, a 50.67 is a very great showing from this car. Bueller's probably happy that he's finally requested another car mod that does particularly fairly well. Anyways, last up we have is a car that's never existed, I think, outside of a prototype or a concept form. I don't know if SSC ha has ever gone into making this a thing. SSC, though, or Shelby Supercars, has here the Tuatara. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably butchering it very badly, but I would imagine it is the Tuatara. And this essentially is meant to be a very highly fast crazy like hyper mega car thing that's supposed to be like a supposed to be one of the fastest cars around thing is though this was this was first shown around like a few years back now so i don't know if ssc has given up on it or just something things have been slightly derailing it i quite like that uh quite like this purple on it, it looks nice I like through that but it definitely seem things definitely seem to be quiet regarding the uh, tuatara here this was requested by Q96, and I believe replaces the Vauxhall Monaro VXR, which is a fairly interesting choice, but hey, I guess, you know, what do you do? And I think it's because of that is why it still sounds like a Monaro. I think, I would imagine, though. Hang on, let me... Mm, I don't want to say that's quite the Monaro sound when tuned up. It sounded like it when it was stock, but this does not seem to... Uh, sound like it and already I can tell that there's gonna be a slight bit of controversy here because this thing I must say actually the handling on this is weird it it tends to kind of get more angle than you feel like it it has a sharper angle than what you feel the car is doing so it, it, it makes it feel particularly very strange but also at the same time, it's also not very sharp with its steering eye either. It's uh, it's definitely lacking in comparison. So it's I think it's definitely hurt hurting from that, which again like should it like is just a bit disappointing and somewhat annoying because why would an SSC like this be not particularly driving very fast? I mean. SSC at the time, at a time, did hold the uh, land speed record in the Guinness World World Records for the fastest production car, with the when the uh, Ultimate Arrow around 2006 had uh, gone. I think it was an average of like what was it 256 or something. I can't remember. I can't remember for sure now. It was. It was. I, I think it was 250. Somewhere between 254 to 256. But, you know. Uh, uh, but yeah, SSC did hold it for a while. I, I think Bugatti still technically holds the... Or Bugatti... Or however you really say them. Uh, I believe they hold the... They still hold the speed record. Because the two... Is it 258 or is it 268 that is recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records? I think it is the 268 or 267 run, or whatever that the uh, Veyron Super Sport set. Uh, even though there technically has been faster made cars, there's vi there's video of like the Hennessy Venom GT doing over 270, which is faster. I, 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 in, in, due to Guinness's rules for a car, like it has to set it like both ways or something, or something dumb, just all these kind of 
technicalities to it. It doesn't actually hold the record. It, but had 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 the one run that was shown actually count, it would have uh, the Venom GT probably would be holding the title. Although, of course, there's also you know Koenigsegg with the likes of the uh, one to one and the Regera, Regera, which probably also go faster. It's a it's it's a weird picture where we're, we look we're looking at with such things like we like the thing is it's common knowledge that there are faster cars in the Veyron Super Sport, but because of the Guinness Rule Book, there it's never officially acknowledged and stuff. And my fans doing it again. What is wrong with that thing? I'm gonna be moving that over after I uh, finish this car up here, which I did notice that it which I did notice it actually did do a sub 56 seconds, so it's not bad. It's still it's a fairly good car for the compared to uh, most the good majority of cars in the game, but still it is a it is a car that should technically be going a lot faster. And if I'm correct, I don't think it should be having an engine sound either, because I don't think this car was I think this car was like a, an electric car or I don't know. It, it's something I'd have to look it up because I don't remember every all everything about this car in particular because the Twatera just was something that was revealed some years ago, and it's been a bit vague ever, really ever since. And oh wow, look at that! I identical laps for laps three and four. How about that? Fair enough. Um, but yeah. Uh, well, it's been a bit of an interesting episode. At least we all had three cars that you know could at least do sub fifty six seconds. One of which did nearly sub fifty. But where do they all go on the leaderboard? Well, let's find out. Okay, now we come over to the leaderboard, and the fastest car of the day, of course, was the Porsche 935 Turbo, doing a time of 50.67, putting it into 27th place. So, that's, I think, believe the second fastest car Mueller has ever requested. Not too far off the fastest he ever requested, which was the tuned VW Beetle at 49.97. Just, just for proof. Yep, that is the. This is the second fastest. So, it must be nice to him to have another car that did fairly well. Uh, just to edges out the likes of the Corvette C5R, Mazda Fury, Civic Si Coupe, Audi R8, a little bit back on the Koenigsegg C6 Elite, Skyline R32, and Courage LC70. Further down, we get our second fastest, the SSC Tuatara, in 81st place. Just edging out the Porsche Cayman S, 918 Spider Vysic Package, Ford Mustang 5.0, and Chrysler ME412. A little bit back on the Corvette C6R, Golf GTI, Porsche 944 Turbo, and Dodge Viper Elite. And it doesn't take much to go down to find the slowest of the two of the three, the Ford F650 XLT in 87th place with a time of 56.20, beating out the Corvette Stingray, Veloster Turbo, RX-7, and Diablo SV, just behind on cars I've already mentioned. So that's going to do it for today's episode, so stay tuned for the next one. And as always, guys, all the links for the likes of Twitter, Twitch, Patreon, and forum boards. They're all in the description down below as well as the links for the mods. If you want to request a mod, leave it down in the comments section below. If you need to know what's already been requested, you can on the little page here, all you gotta do is go over to the next little tab here and you'll get a current list of cars that have already been requested. But thank you guys so much for watching and as always, take care.